Now, I was about to show you guys some tweaks of the week, but these tweaks were kind of not really weak, but I would rather wait for more exciting tweaks so you guys can see I can flip the switch and turn on the flashlight. But we're going to get to that next week, so I'm going to wait for some more tweaks to release. We have Color Flow 4 coming out sometime. It's in beta. Yeah, it's going to be a good week next week. But for now, let's see what's on my iPad, Jailbroken Edition. So yeah, this is my iPad, and I believe this is the perfect jailbroken setup, in my opinion. Um, it's not the most exciting thing to look at, but in my opinion, it's all about that functionality. Now, the first tweak I'm going to show you guys is a tweak called App Admin. Now, this is just a staple tweak. If I launch the App Store right here, if I tap and hold Upgrade, you get, get these prompts here, so you can continue to upgrade the um, or update the app. Or you can downgrade or you can block all updates or you could just downgrade to the previous now if I tap on downgrade you're gonna see all the firmwares or all the versions of twitch right there on the fly so you can go all the way back to the first ever twitch app and you know what just for the fun of it I'm gonna cancel that we're gonna go all the way back to the first version of Facebook now look if I launch the Facebook look it's not even supported on my iPad of course you want to upgrade it you could just update it you could tap on it you can continue and it's gonna update the Facebook application to the latest version. Now this next tweak is called K's. Now, all right, let's say I launched the, I don't know, App Store. You can swipe up from the side on the right side and it's gonna take you right back home. Let's say I wanna launch up YouTube. And as you guys can see, I have a clips on too. I'm gonna get to that in a little bit. You could just swipe up from the side and now you're back. Now, if you swipe from the middle, that's gonna activate your control center. And if you swipe from the left side, you have this nice little cover flow here, not cover flow, but a little app switcher here, and you can see what's going on. So Facebook, there it is, and you can just swipe right back up to go back to home. So it's kind of remind me of OXO, is exactly like OXO, um, just away from the app switcher, but just nice gestures on the iPad, especially if you're coming from the iPhone 10. This is just a handy feature if you don't want to wear out your home button too as well. Now this next tweak is called Sonos, and it's gonna get rid of the volume HUD. So if I press up on my volume, it's gonna remove that HUD and just put it on the status bar. That's how it should be. And let me just zoom in so you guys can see. This is very, very minimalistic. And you guys can see right there. Nice and minimalistic right there. And this right here is called Eclipse 4. It brings dark mode to iOS. And I gotta say, it looks stunning here. And you guys saw it earlier with the App Store and the App Store there. Um, I think it works on the iTunes store. Anywhere you go, there's a dark mode. Mail. Hope there's no personal. Okay, yeah. Copyright claim. <laughs> Hate the copyrights. But you guys get the idea. Clips 10 enable dark mode on iOS. Now, this next tweak is called Activator. This is just a classic tweak. If I zoom in, uh, this is just one of the activator gestures that I like to use. If I swipe from the right side, you guys can see I'm turning up the volume, swiping from the other side, the left. I'm turning down the volume. I like that a lot because I don't like to wear out my buttons. I don't know. Sometimes that, that happens to me a lot where the buttons just start to get jammed. I don't know. That just happened to me. So activate is like a staple. But you can use other activated gestures. So you can use your home button. Um, if you triple click the home button. You can, I don't know, launch an app or something like that. So I can press the volume up button and then the down and I can enable dark mode or something like that. Now this next tweak is called power down. Now if I press and hold my, my lock button, you guys going to see I have a bunch of options here. So let's zoom that in. So I have slide to power off, slide to reboot, slide to respring, and slide to enable safe mode. So yeah, pretty self-explanatory. And yeah, that's power down. Let's say you're listening to music and you want to just take a quick little video. Normally, on normal iOS, it'll pause your music. Pause your music. So now, let's say I'm playing a song. Hold on. Let me play something. So let's say I'm playing music. I launched the camera application. And now, look, I'm on the video mode, but my music is still playing. And, of course, if you press volume up, now it's playing my music and recording at the same time. So, yeah. But the only problem, of course, let's say the music is so loud, it can get into the, you know what I mean? It can get into, into the recording. Now, another similar tweak, this is called Don't Stop the Party. So, let's say, yet again, I'm playing music. Oh, let's not have it on blast. And then, let's say I want to respring my device. I can respring it, but my music is still playing while the device is respringing. So, Don't Stop the Party 
it's gonna help you with that too because sometimes when you reach spring it can get a little annoying when your music stops and then you got to do the whole thing again and yeah that's what it does i like that a lot definitely handy tweak i wish it was supported on the iphone well when i mean iphone ios 11 now this next tweak is called hide me x now hide me x i hide the the labels on the home screen as you guys can see very very nice neat look i'll be here all day trying to explain everything but you could change all these elements right here with just just one tweak now ladies and gentlemen this is called color flow 3 now color flow 4 is coming really soon on ios 11 i cannot wait to install it and basically it's just gonna change the entire background now um, i like this a lot it just makes you want to listen to more music um, let me just zoom that in so you guys can see better and it just looks so much better i mean I'm, i don't understand why apple can't do something like this i mean look at that it just looks beautiful it you know it just takes the dominant color from the um the artwork and it just adapts with the buttons and really the scroll bar here as you guys can see there i mean look at the queen album even all the elements if you even go down you can even see the lyrics adapting to the album art color so the developer definitely did took their time with this one this one is called color badges and just took the dominant app color and this is gonna you know colorize your your um your app badge and if you look at the youtube application you know nice red and then the outline of the play button you guys can see the white border and really what instagram looks different here because look you have the dominant color which is this creamish color creamish and you have the lens black so it kind of just it looks good man it just looks good this is a pretty much staple tweak this is like it's gonna darken the ios ui so such as the the control center now ios 11 is actually pretty dark already um, but just really looking at the widgets here you guys can see it just looks gorgeous and especially at night it's easier on the eyes and everything is just nice and dark too it goes along really well with eclipse 4 and very very similar to color badges this is a tweak called color banners and as you guys can see it just takes the dominant app color and just adapts it with the background or the the, the banner so you guys can see very very nice so you have the you now so it's nice and green uh, youtube studio it's kind of glitchy it's glitchy with noctis um, i'm pretty sure there's a way i could fix it but I, I just get lazy sometimes yeah so whatever now i'm pretty sure you guys just noticed this this is a tweet called unity x or unity 10 so it groups all my notifications together so if it comes in very very rapidly at the same time um, it's going to group them all together so very very nice um, thankfully Apple included this in iOS 12 so probably one of my favorite iOS 12 features right there everything is grouped and it just make things so much neater and easier to read now this next tweak is probably my favorite iPad tweak of all time but let's say I launch a unsupported slide over iPad like the Amazon Echo I'm, I'm not sure if the Amazon Echo is supported with slide over slide over is where you can swipe from the side of the iPad and you can just enable side by side view so look for example i have cydia here it is not really working well with cydia but if i do it at instagram and i'm going to get to instagram in a little bit i have another tweak install you guys can see it works perfectly well with slide over so i have instagram on this side and i have safari on the other side so this is this is probably one of my favorite ipad jailbreak tweaks yet and it's called require full and man have slide over view on unsupported ipad apps now this next tweak is called Power Break, and all it is is just gonna allow you to use the PayPal application. PayPal has jailbreak detection, and yeah, it's gonna allow you to open it up. Easy. I would open it, but a lot of sensitive information there. Now this next tweak right here is called Coco Tap. Now it's gonna see all the processes that's running on your iPad currently. You can see the CPU, the free RAM available, and you have all the processes that it's currently running. Coco Tap is free and it's not compatible with iOS 11. I tried it on my iPhone, but it is not supported at all. Now, Power Saver Mode is going to enable low power mode on your iPad. So, normally stock, there's no such thing as low power mode on the iPad, but there's a such thing now with this. So, now it's going to turn off a lot of, um, it's going to turn off all the unnecessary power. If you want like 10%, enable this. And if you have the low power banner, on front of your screen the notification you can enable low power mode like that too so just enable low power mode on your ipad now this tweak is called finger touch now without you pressing the button you could just touch on the touch id center um, let me double tap it's going to open up my app switcher 
and you just touch on it, you go straight home. So without pressing the button, without putting any wear and tear to the home button, you could just tap to go home. And you could just double tap to open up the app switcher. You have a bunch of actions to change. So you touch, hold, double touch, triple touch. You can do all of that. And yeah, that is finger touch. Now, next up, I have a tweak called Speed Intensifier. So it's going to speed up my animations. As you guys can see, everything is moving nice and fast. Now, I don't have it too fast. I have it at times four. Uh, when things get too fast, it can get a little glitchy. So I think times four is the sweet spot for me. I'm just going to speed up those animations. All right, final two tweaks, yeah. So now this one is on the keyboard. This one is called Double Cut. And if I double press my at symbol, so double tap, it just put in my email right there. So I could double tap. It puts it in my email. So very, very quickly without typing the whole thing over and over again. You can add in like a cash symbol and I don't know, putting your cash app maybe. And then when you double press the cash symbol, you have your cash app um, name. So just like that. And you could change the action. So triple tap, long press. I like the double tap better. So now if I double press the cash symbol, it'll put in my cash app information. And finally, last but not least, this is called prediction shortcut. So as you guys can see, if you look at the prediction bar, you can select all. So it's going to select all the text. You can cut it. You can paste it. You can undo everything right there without going up on top of the screen there. So it makes things a little bit more easier to navigate. Yeah, as you guys can see my corners, this is called I hate corners. And it just gets you prepared for the iPad 10. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thumbs up if you guys did. Subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next jailbreak video. Um, which is going to be on the iPhone.